Hello everybody and welcome back to Slay the Spy. I haven't had time yet to get into it, so let's jump into the daily, find out what we're playing and how we're playing and who we're playing and what we're playing. We are playing as the Iron Clad, yeah. We are playing uh, with the Midas, yeah, maybe. We are playing with Horda. And uh, straight up on the first page we have Enel's Misplays, Enel's Sing Jeremy for me, Enel's Human Sons. That's a lot of NL support right there on the first page. Damn, son. Uh, this is June 13th, as you can tell, and we're about to jump into it. But I'm going to take a sip of my coffee first, and we're going to embark. And I'm very upset by the fact that I'm not even sure. Now I'm pretty sure my milk has gone bad. But anyway, let's jump into it. We get chariot and ashes. I'm not going to build around that. There's just no way. So we're just going to build a normal um, ironclad run. Probably something along the lines of uh, as many... Strength upgrading type cards as possible. Possibly as much defensive cards as we can get would be nice. Anything along those lines. Vulnerable, um, infinite vulnerable combo would be nice, of course. But I'm not going to block and get my hopes up. It's a pretty hard situation to make for yourself in Slay the Spire. So I'm not going to get too excited about that. Obviously, I want to try and minimize as much damage as I take early. Um, although we can't upgrade cards. So I guess shops are just literally made for walking. That's not how that goes. These boots were made for walking, so that's just what they'll do. One of these days, the boots are going to walk all over you. Something along those lines. I want to find some potions. Uh, I'll take these two and... No! I didn't take the strength potion. That's pain for boys. Move a card from my deck. Lose some HP. Um, oh, we got Horda. Oh, we got Horda. Then in that case, I don't think removing a card matters. I'm going to keep the strikes because Perfect Strike will come up. And with Horda, Perfect Strike will be good. So I messed up already. We didn't take the Strength Potion because I accidentally pushed the wrong button. But we will buy one Potion here, I guess, and make up for it. So who knows? Maybe that was the right choice. We will never know until we know. <laughs> well, we couldn't buy any of these anyway. Like, so we don't have to feel bad about it. Three Clashes to the deck feels so good, baby. Let's take it and let's move on. Um, you know what? I'm actually going to get rid of bronze skills here. I'm going to buy the uh, attack potion because the attack potion could lead to a possible perfect by killing something. Where the um, bronze potion is only good if we get a very specific subset of cards to be played. And chances are that not going to happen. So we only have four non clash cards in the deck. So right now our deck is pretty much set up to clash for infinity and beyond, which means. Killing things shouldn't be too hard, but perfect things should get slightly harder. I think Headbutt is absolutely perfect for this deck. Although Wild Strike is 12 damage. But we don't want to wound card because then we can't play Clash. Let's think a little. Let's think for a change. Something I'm very bad at doing in Slay Spies. I don't think it through, you know what I'm saying? I don't I don't sit there and I'm like, you know what? What is the absolute best strategy? So I'm gonna use this attack potion immediately. Okay, give me Carnage. Carnage is huge. Let's try and take can we take out Back Boy? Can Back Boy be killed? BAM! Okay. Bam. Mm. We can kill Back Boy. Okay. So we can kill Back Boy. Can we kill Middle Boy? If we go for something like a bang. And a... Or let's go for... Oh, we got cleaves in the deck though. So we should probably attempt to kill you. We'll use the block push. I'm going to keep the expl fire potion for now. Because perfects are important. If we can just get Clash and Cleave to Sharp together, we can probably perfect this fight. I'm pretty sure. We did get it. So Clash is 40 damage right off. So we start off with the Cleave. Or do we just go for the Clash? I think you go for... Okay, well... Let's Cleave. Clash will kill you. Oh, but it doesn't matter because Cleave's going to hit everything. Anyway. Let's Cleave first, right? First turn is cleave. Then you use headbutt. And let's put back Carnage. We can clash. We can slash you. We get energy back, of course. We can use the explosion potion here. We can then use Carnage here. And the next turn he should be guaranteed dead. Am I correct in this assumption? Which means I misplayed that because I could have saved the explosion potion. But we perfect this boss, and that's all that I cared about. Excuse me, Mr. Defend. Don't come and mess up my game yet. All I cared about was perfect. Bottled lightning. That is horrible. I wish I didn't pick it up, but I'll put a defend in the opening hand, whatever. Um 
jeden Fall... I think we skip here. I think we have to skip these, unfortunately. They just aren't doing anything for us right now. Old coin is fine because there is a secondary shop. Uh, we do need to take this path for the elite. We are on full HP. So right now, we're doing great, guys. We're doing great. This opening um, the fenced hand is really bad situation for us. Really, really bad because... Uh, well, well, we can't hit by. Because, unfortunately, it has created the situation where we... Um, can possibly not play the clashes we get on a deck. So the only other option is just removing all these defense. And I kind of wish I had used that defense removal at that other area where I had the option to, but I didn't. So I regret that slightly, but that's okay. An attack card is beautiful. Iron Wave gives me block and attack, which I kind of want, but headbutt and bloodletting are so good. Bloodletting blood is really good. Um, I think you got to take bloodletting here. Three bloodlettings. Gives us energy so we can actually play cards. This is the worst elite we could have fought. Absolutely. But uh, hmm, let's take this attack potion that we get. We got an iron wave. It's not the greatest. I think you do go for the turn one play here though. So you do bash into iron wave. Into strike. I'm going to use the play to armor long. I'm pretty sure there's no way for us to perfect here. Literally no way for us to perfect here. So it's fine. Yeah, there's absolutely no way for us to put here. So I'm going to go for the headbutt to put Bash back on top of the deck. Then I'm going to go for headbutt to put Bloodletting back on top of the deck. And then I'm going to go for headbutt again. Uh, I'll go headbutt again to put another headbutt on top of the deck. So we got headbutt, Bash, and um, Bloodletting coming up. We couldn't perfect this elite. There was no way. There was no way with the cards we have in our deck. There was just no way, unfortunately, to perfect that. So we're going to use that loose through HP. And we're going to use this. Now, uh, we would prefer to kill him here, but it's going to be a bit hard. Let's get a uh, headbutt because it does the most damage. So we're actually going to take a secondary hit here. A little bit of a miscalculation on my side. It means we're taking a grand total of 29 damage on this fight alone, which is, is way too much damage, obviously, if you guys didn't realize. Like, we cannot afford to take that much damage. But he'll die next turn. It won't matter. And uh, we'll just try and perfect the next elite. This was the Lagavulin is the hardest elite on the first floor now. He used to be like kind of the easiest one, so they buffed him a lot to balance him. Ooh. Warwind's tempting. But I think we can't upgrade cards, so no, we have been up to able to upgrade Warwind. It just isn't as good. Okay, so here we actually do have a few options. Here we have a few options. Like in flame, I'm liking. Uh, feed, I'm liking. Um, ornamental fan, not really much liking. Question card, I'm kind of liking. Um, if I look at these, the only card that we have that costs two mana right now, we, we can play anyway. So I think I would want to take the feed card and the inflame card. And I'll take the finesse card. It's fine. It's a skill, but it's a skill that we can play regardless. So it doesn't bother if we get it with... Oh, no. This is good slash bad. It's good because... Obviously, we... Um, we can... Maybe... Perf maybe perfect here? Yeah? I don't know. I don't even think we can. I think even if we use... We're going to use need to use two defense here just to keep our perfect in stack. I will, of course, use cleave immediately. I will use headbutt to bring back the cleave immediately. So, cleaving here is going to be critical. Multiple cleaves to, to kill. But with only three energy, our mathematical chance of perfecting here is very, very low. We need to kill both of these in one turn, and that is... I wouldn't say impossible because that's just negative and I don't like being negative, but that's uh, unlikely, let's just say. Oh, but with that though. Oh, we're actually going to be one damage short. We're going to be one damage short from perfecting this fight. Well, that's a little sad. I'm not going to lie. I think I deserve to admit that that's a little sad. One, we were one, one damage short from perfecting this fight, but uh, we will get to luckily feed though so it's not too bad oh we gotta be careful how we do it uh we could delay this and try and get multiple feeds here because our math oh never mind sharon's ashes will do it for us i kind of forgot we had sharon's ashes my bad my bad um i don't like any of these honestly i'm just gonna skip them and move on 
So right now the deck is good, but we don't have any perfect potentials, and that's the biggest problem we are facing right now is the fact that we don't have those that potential to perfect. Kind of, uh, we kind of need it, guys. We kind of need it. So we can play two strikes. I'm pretty sure we can take this Lausa. We get our energy back. We can feed on. Oh, we one damage short to feed. Are you serious? We can prevent at least seven of the damage. At least seven. So, so far this run is not going good. I just want to point out this is not a good run so far. So far we're doing average. Uh, we've luckily been fortunate enough. I don't know if we're going to get the kill if we use this. Oh no, we definitely will. Okay. Feed. And feed. Awesome. So we can just keep feeding luckily, which is going to definitely help us. Oh, there we go. Perfected strike was the card of destiny that I was waiting for. We will rest up because we have no choice. You don't even go to max HP here. That sucks. Oh. Boss Slam! Of course I would love to perfect Boss Slam, but I am going to be um, realistic enough to realize that the chance of perfecting Boss Slam is pretty low, so... But uh, I'm going to of course go for it. I'm going to definitely keep the feeds in the deck. So how do you perfect Boss Slam? Well, lots of Inflames are exactly what we were waiting for, so we'll use Finesse because it's free, why not? Use Inflame. Use Inflame. Look what we have in here. Probably want to put Clash back if I had to guess. So headbutt the Clash card and enter. So we got plus four strength. That means we only need to do 34 here to to keep our 34 to keep our um, perfect in our hands. Let's use Inflame again. So now we got plus six strength. This is huge. So we can use a Perfect Strike. These do 20. This will do. 26 is the 28. So Perfect Strike does do the most damage, and then we have to clash. So he's going to split into 258 HP, which is a bit of a problem. I'm not going to lie to you. 258 HP um, slimes, it's pretty high, very hard to kill both while taking damage, especially if they both attack. Wow. But uh, hopefully the clash will be enough. Actually, we just killed one. Wow. That is amazing. I really wish I had um, an easing top and I could have probably killed this. I'm going to get failed now, which means we just want to go for the kill here. As soon as we, if we can kill, we need to go for it. So there is a perfected slash. So let's use it. Go for a little bit of clash action. Go for a little feedback. And that's a perfect boss fight. Booyah, baby. Let's go. Easy. Well, just looking at it, Reaper does nothing. Barricade does nothing. Obviously, you got to take double tap because double tap actually serves a purpose for us. Uh, curse key. Coffee dipper. Gain energy at the start of each turn. You can no longer rest at rest sites. Hmm. What is this? Just hear me out. Does that mean I go up to... Oh no, it just gives me an extra energy at the start of every turn. Like, almost like Lantern, but instead of being just for the first turn, it's the, it's literally every turn. I think that's what I'm going to take Curse Key though, because it gives me energy, which I want, and it gives me Curse Cards, which I also want, due to the fact that I want to get the extra 100 points on the daily. Um, Coffee Dripper. Coffee Dripper, I can see there being some bull crap. Uh, strats around that. Okay, so elites. This first elite is here. There's an elite here too. Here's the second elite. There's a third elite. So we actually have no choice but to take this path. Even though this path has no shops for us. Wow. That seems to happen a lot. I'm actually considering just going for two elites here to up my chance of winning the run. So I'm going to go for two elites. Oh, but then I... Do I not get a shop anyway? I don't get a shop anyway if I go for those two elites. So I might as well go for the three elite path. I might as well go for the three lit path because we're not going to get a shop anyway. If we go for this shop, we can still make it to elite. So I'm going to go for that shop, I think is the right play. Lots of question mark opportunities lost. Uh, let's go for the question mark. Some of these question marks could be a shop. I'm going to go for two elites here. I know I should go for three elites for the maximum points necessary. But what we need to keep in mind, and something I'm uh, very bad at, and uh, for some reason I just it's almost like I can't get my head around it, is the fact that it doesn't help you go for a trillion elites. If you are uh, not going to perfect them, you know what I'm saying? We still got to perfect these elites. I'm actually going to use Transmute here. I'm going to use one strike. I'm going to use F2. Let's see what I get. Got Finesse. That worked out pretty well. We can't use it, but at least it gives us a little bit of extra block. I was hoping we could kill one off because I didn't want to tank this damage in the first turn, but it's okay. Oh, wow. This is exactly what I was scared of. Like, a turn like this. Oh, my goodness. 
The turn like this was kind of exactly what I was worried about. And the fact that it came to pass the way it did just frightens me even more. Um, just double tap. We can... This will not kill you, right? Just check. Okay, so we gotta kill that guy. Let's take the... Let's take Perfected Strike. And we can use this. To use Perfected Strike. I mean, it does a lot of damage. We're still taking a shit ton of damage. So we need to either kill things a lot faster. Or we need to... Uh, we, yeah, we actually just need to start killing things a lot faster here. And by, and I mean like a lot faster. Like a lot. Well, you know what we want? I'll tell you what we want. I'll tell you what we want, what we really, really want. Please tell me what you want, what you really, really want. I want to get... I might even do one in lead if we don't get any shops. I swear to God. If I don't get any shops in that other room, I might actually... And I'm not even fucking kidding you right now. Just fucking do two elites. Do this, do this, and do that. Wow, we actually got through to his armor. That's insane. First turn. So if I can just get rid of these four defense, I'll have a, a deck of only attacks and then like attack modifiers, which will be amazing. That's a lot of block, motherfucker. Luckily, we do have Finesse. Finesse gave us perfect strike, which gave us a strike, which gave us a feed. And we get some more max HP. Feed is... Feed seems to, for me at least, feel like, oh my goodness, I've got to it off. I do have four energy, so the temptation is there. But just give me more clashes. Look, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm looking at that upgraded struggle. I'm saying that that is the right choice. If you guys are doing this daily, do that one. That is the right choice. I took the wrong choice. I hate that book. Give me the neck of fucking Nomicon. I prefer it. The right choice was struggle off there. Remove a card from upgrade or strikes defense. Uh. Wow. If I have the shitty defense and deck, let's at least have them upgraded. Removing one defend wouldn't have been worth it for me. Um, get cursed at the decay, oh, decay me, baby. It's fine. So we got three curses already. That means we are two curses away from getting our. Uh, um, what does one want to call that? I hate transmutations. My opening hand. Oh my god, they gave me the curse in my freaking hand. Okay, so curse is bad with clash. That's my bad. I made it. I made a. Uh, oh crap! I just made a really big mistake because I kind of forgot, and I really do mean I kind of forgot that. If we use transmutation, which we did, it was going to. Yeah, okay, that was a big misplan. Our perfect is already gone, which is sad, but that was a big, big misplan. What was I even thinking about playing transmutation? I'm an idiot. Okay, I must relax. I must stop talking crap now. I need to focus on the game. What happened there was I got so brain flooded by looking at the um, transmute uh, by looking at the the curse card that I literally completely forgot. About the um, the other cards in the deck, so I was like, "Oh no, I need to." Oh crap! I didn't kill you. That's ah, fine. I I'm like, "Oh no, I need to." What's my call? I need to uh, get rid of this curse. Is making that complex clash. This is bad. Blah blah blah. You know, you guys get it right. And then what happened was I completely spaced, completely spaced on the fact that. Uh, Mm, I was kind of hoping for a bash to show up, but then so I'll just do perfect strike. Um, I completely spaced on the fact that twin strike makes perfect strikes do more. That we, if we played like we had other cards, we had other, we misplayed this elite fight. Probably the most embarrassing elite fight of my actual human existence. That curse card just might have cost us the entire game. And I'm not even kidding with you right now. I'm actually being serious. Um, we could just die here, I think. Don't we just die here? I think. It's Twenty-seven. We need to kill this guy at least. Oh, that's huge. 34. I mean... Shit, are we just gonna, are we just gonna lose this run? Is that what's gonna happen? Because I don't want to be Mr. Negativity here, but I think we might just die right now to this elite. Which, uh, which raises a lot of questions about how I need to approach the rest of this run. Yeah, this is, this is what I was worried about. This is kind of exactly what I was worried about game. If in case the game didn't know, I'm just going to tell you right now. That I was actually super worried about this exact situation. Okay, so we made critical errors. Critical errors have been made. Self forming clay is pretty good. Pommel strike is really good. Uh, we need to bonfire it up all day long. So this next fight on 13 HP is, is this, this. Oh my word, this is not an easy fight either. Potheosis is going to help a lot. Of course, we get the uh, two clashes and the decay in our opening hand because... Why not? Why not? 
Why not do me dirty game? I'll take this because I actually will help. So we could die right now. We could die right, absolutely right now. I'm not even kidding. These three guys could kill me right now. And I'm going to be very, very upset because this is literally a situation of I got a little, let's not even say a little bit. I got extremely unlucky and I'm going to pay an extremely, extremely big price for this, which I didn't want to pay. And that is losing this daily. So I'm a little bit annoyed right now by that. Of course, there was no way, I, nothing I could have done about it. Uh, just bad RNG. Uh, although the first fight against that elite, I fucked up. So you know what? I'll, I'll give you that game. In in your defense, I fucked up that first elite fight. I'm gonna I'm gonna admit it. I'm gonna get max HP here to hope that I start getting super heals off of these uh, bonfires. That's the only other route I can see. Um. I think you skip these. The deck is getting big now. We need to rest, 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 rest. So we just want to every single bonfire we see want to go to. So that means we're going here and we're doing another bonfire. Let's go. Another decay. So now we've got six decays in the deck, which is slightly worrisome. Not the worst curse in the game though, so not too bad. But we need a blue candle. So I'm actually going to skip the second to go to the shop and pray the shop gives me blue candle. And I know what you might be thinking. You might be thinking like, okay, look, this is getting a little old now, game. I'm just saying. I don't want to be that guy. But I mean, come on. Really, game? You really going to, like, try and pull this crap on me? Oh, I made a massive error. Drink three cards. Oh, I made an even bigger error. Okay, well, errors have been super made, apparently, guys. I completely forgot that I was going to draw the K with the super. Okay, so we just... Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Stop. Just stop. Relax. Take a fucking second to chill and just relax. Because we are fucking up big time right now. And it's going to cost us this entire run, okay? So if I don't start super relaxing really soon, I'm going to absolutely die. And this is not going to be funny for me, okay? Well, I really thought Fear would get the kill there. I'm actually, actually a little bit disappointed I didn't. Okay, so, um, yeah, we need, to, we need to relax a little bit. Take a step back. Realize what the situation we're in. We're in a shitty situation. What do we need to win this run? Well, it's very simple. We need one card to show up. Or one relic to show up. And that is Blue Candle. Blue Candle shows up. We can still win this run. Blue Candle doesn't show up. We're in a little bit of a problem. Bum, 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 bum. I mean, so far, we did, we're did. doing not... Like, so far, we haven't lost. Let's just put it that way. Like, the, it's not over. It's not over until the fat daddy sings or whatever. I don't know how the thing goes. But it ain't over yet. That's what I'm trying to say. What I'm trying to say is, it ain't over. So we still got the perfected strikes. They can still keep us going. We are hitting 6 a turn. We have super HP because of our lineup. Um, oh, you got to spot weakness. As much as I hate it, you got to spot weakness is bad also because it could prevent us from getting... Oh, Apotheosis is beautiful. It could prevent us from a lot of things that are, uh, are very annoying. So uh, the case... Having this many the case is starting to be a bummer. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, but uh, it's okay. Um, skip this. It gives us three block for two damage, I guess. So, and it doesn't stop us from getting perfects either. So I don't know. I don't think we're gonna. I don't think we're gonna do very well in today's daily. I messed up somewhere. I went wrong. I don't know where I went wrong, but somewhere, somewhere, I will be mad. Oh my goodness. Please don't be cursed. Was feet. If I headbutt you, bring back finesse, I guess. So we need to kill this guy. He needs to die. No, we're not taking damage from him, so he doesn't actually need to die. So we can just double. Nope. Oh, we can feed on him. We'll get card draw. Gives me finesse. We can use card draw and finesse to get perfect strike. Now that is the kind of turn I'm talking about. Okay. More pommel strikes. Yes. Okay. We've got a choice to make. Elite for relic or shop for multiple relics and cards. I'm going to go for the shop for multiple relics and cards. I'm going to buy all of it. This. Give me. Give me. Give me. Give me. Let up and Turn up. Yes. Potheosis. Yes. This. Yes. What else we got here? Pommel strike. Mm, not too sure about that. Battle chance. Mm, not too sure about that. Good is definitely not. Um, give me. I like battle chance is tempting. Rupture, not so much. Oh, do I lose HP? Does uh, decay count as HP loss? I think it's to take two damage. I don't deal to myself. I'm pretty sure. I don't want that many apotheosis in the deck, but it's okay. Um, pummel strike is one mana. 
this does three times three is nine. This does two times eight. There's eight damage. This does more damage with strength, so it does more technically speaking than Pom will do. We can't upgrade Pom anyway. You know what? I just think I don't want any of this. I move on. So I didn't do the elite, which is point loss, massive point loss. I understand. Big, 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 big problems here for us right now. I do understand. I want you guys to know that I understand. I also want you guys to understand that I understand that I understand. Um, I want to use spot weakness again, but the problem is if I use spot weakness. Well, this does what? 24 damage? So I need to do 30 to use. So what's his attack card give me? Heavy blade. Oh my goodness. Heavy blade would twice. Well, heavy blade will kill. Um, what is this? I did not do two attacks. Oh, it's not upgrade. We haven't played Apotheosis yet. Of course. I'm an idiot. Okay, what do we got here? Double tap again. It's free. Play double tap. On Heavy Blade. Okay, I needed to do that. That was critical. Bam. Feed will not get it, but... Oh, it will actually just be one short regardless. Oh, well, we can, we have many feeds in the deck. We have many feeds in the deck. Let's just ra wait for another feed to show up. We can feed on this. Person. We need to feed, and I'll tell you why. It's very important, because the higher our max HP is, the higher we heal, and we need to heal, game. You don't understand. We need to heal. Okay, you are going to die anyway, so it doesn't matter, but I'll bring back that. I don't want to take the decay damage there is what it was. Anger, Warc Warcry is now starting to look very tasty for me. Heal up to full for the bonds on my So I don't think okay, let's be honest with each other. Perfecting the um, bonds on momentum, zero percent chance. Zero percent. Absolutely zero. Enlightenment is amazing. I'm gonna start with a pommel strike. Oh my goodness. I was kind of hoping for um I was kind of hoping for a I can see the temptation here. I already see the temptation. I was kind of hoping for Bastion Shop. Oh, but I guess we have to get through three anyway. It doesn't matter. Do, so he's going to attack now. 14 incoming damage. Why is there decay in my hand? Defend. Wow, so I'm actually just going to take a lot of damage because I have no... I can't play any cards in my hand. Okay, well, that sucks. Give me none of these. So that we're not perfect in this, but that, I knew that was happening. Right now, we are on damage control. We are just on, can we win this run? Is what we want right now. All we care about right now is can we actually win this run? Because at this point, we're not looking like we can win this run, okay? Things are looking very scary, very dangerous. War cry. Fuck off the K. Well, thanks to the spot weakness, I can't play, by the way, game. Just want to point it out there, but uh, we got a 40 damage uh, one of those. Let me use uh, one of these. Let's bring back the perfect strike, which is upgraded. And you know, let's kill you. Let's get rid of you. We're going to get energy back. Uh, I guess it was a bad energy back, so... In turn. Give me more perfected strikes. More perfected strike means our actual perfected strike hits harder. Misplaced. Misplaced has been made tremendously all over this run. This is a pro... Oh my goodness. Wow, game. You really are doing me dirty with these clashes and these fucking, uh... The cakes together. I'm just saying. I mean, I'm kind of impressed. In all honesty, but at the same time, fuck you. You know what I'm saying? Because that is some bullshit. And now, of course, now they do not attack, which means I do not be able to play any of my combo cards, which is frustrating. See, can't play spot weakness now because it doesn't help. I mean, let's play it anyway. Then we can use Pommel Strike, use Apotheosis, use Inflame. Finally, Inflame Shadow, we use Bloodletting. Take headbutt, put headbutt back on top of the deck. Get fucking spot weakness to come. And then you use feet. You do not use the card I wanted to use, which was um, Pommel Strike, even though it does slight more damage because we didn't. 51 damage, that's insane. And of course, we have zero blocks in our deck, so. And we got the K, so we couldn't even use our Clash. If we could have used Clash 25, we would have been in a way better place, but uh, yeah. The decays are showing up like crazy. We need blue candle. Blue candle is our win condition. Blue candle, we win the run. It's that simple. It's actually scary that it's that simple. That one card is all we need to win the run of destiny. At least we get to feed on this guy, which is exciting. Oh man, I'm very worried about this daily. We're not placing well. 
Oh my word, offering you can at the exact right time. We're not placing well, but it does. Oh my god, what is this? Fusion hammer. Gain at the start of each turn, you can no longer smith at rest sites. I can't smith anyway, game. I can't smith anyway, game. That's amazing. So we want, we got just got three offerings in the deck. Okay, so it is Time Lord, that's fine. Okay, so we we made many mistakes. Let's let's add, let's let's take a moment. One. So the only way we get this like there, there, and there. we can get three leads here. I'm gonna go for all three. Um, we've made many mistakes. Many mistakes have been made, as they say. Now, the question is, how do we come back from this? We know what the problem is. The problem is we have made many mistakes. Now the question is, how do we come back? from these many mistakes that we have made that is the question i mean doesn't pommel strike just kill you not yet okay. i was kind of actually hoping for some block here but okay i guess i can just hit you for like 50 and then i can uh i guess offering uh, i guess we well, let's just use this potion instead oh yeah that's what i'm talking about baby. Okay, that's way too many double taps, game. I just want to point this out, please. We took damage. Motherfucker. Well, if I've taken damage, I'm just gonna fucking murder you, dude. I'm gonna use Transmutation just for lows. Clash of Steel. Nope, I won't do it. I refuse. Give me Clash. I refuse. I need Blue Candle, please, game. Blue Candle is literally 100% my win condition. Without it, I can't win this run. With it, I win the run like it means nothing. I get to feed. Oh, I must remember to feed on as many things as possible. Keep that in mind. Perfect strike? Hell yeah. How fucking yeah. I will run this whole deck on perfect strike. I don't give a shit. I've got five energy at the start of every round. I will perfect strike to the end of time, baby. So you can. I mean, you might as well party out. Whatever. Panache. Defend. I didn't want to do the defend. That was a misplay, but whatever. And, uh. Actually, you know what? I think this, um, this is going to be ironically one of those situations. I'm gonna do it. Have a go. What you got? Inflame for free? I won't say no. I think this is gonna be a block situation. I think I'm gonna block here. We got a panache play. I got a lot of uh, value out of that. Strength wise, we're gonna tank two damage. Ooh, I don't care. Bum, bum, bum. We wanna fight all three elites. We wanna win against all three elites. We wanna finish this run. And we wanna be in a good place. That's what we want to do. Now, the question is can we do that? I was just about to say, uh, retard. Mr. Retard, please show up for class, Mr. Retard. If you draw a uh, offering, if you draw a uh, what's call it, you will not. Be I'm going to use offering for the hopes of a feed showing up. We didn't get it, so I will just end this fight. I was really hoping feed would show up there, but it's fine. You got to add more clashes, right? I know what you're all thinking. Ah. Uh... Uh, excuse me, game. The fuck is this thing? If you're gonna add new mods to the game, just please tell me ahead of time. It's a spy growth. It's a tentacle pawn. It's fucking Japanese tentacle pawn up in here. That was not part of the deal, guys. We had a deal. It was not part of it. He just attacks with 16 every time. I mean. If that's what you're gonna do, go for it, but that's not a great strategy. I'm just gonna tell you right now. So one card. I was really hoping for more than that, but So we're gonna take 16 here, that's so we're gonna take 18 here, that sucks. Uh that's fine, I don't need this. 16 incoming damage. Well 18 taking because of the decay. So 18 incoming damage, that sucks. Oh wait, he's debuffing. I wish I could see what debuff you're gonna do, dude, but I'll never know. You know why I'll never know? Because you're about to die. It's gonna be painful. Hmm, that was new. New frightens me. I I know. Stop adding clashes to the deck, you dumbass mother peeper. You do not have blue cannon. You do not have any using tops. So you cannot combo them anyway. So please stop. I know. Okay. I know. You are technically right. I should stop. I don't stop. It's my own fault. I was born this way. Oh no! I'm gonna get the cake. I think you hit the guy in the back. Let's put uh, Clashing Attack. Then you hit the guy in the back again. Right here, back. Um, I think we're just tanking a lot of damage here, unfortunately. Uh, you know what? Give me Impervious. Why not? What do we need to make this deck work? We need Blue Candle. I think we get Blue Candle with this deck insta works. 
And I think we need a uh, bag of prep would be nice. Obviously we want to feed if possible, so bam. Ten. Nine. At least we get to feed on this good stuff. Let me protect the strike. And then we get to kill you and take no damage. I love it. I love it. Sundial's fine. Twin strike. No! Mm, okay, I need to slow down. You know what? Oh my god! What is this thing? Dies in five turns. This attacks. Whenever the target takes damage, it loses strength. As they just changed the chance here, they made it look different. I prefer the old chance here. Can I get the old chance in back? Is there an option for this? I mean, he's offering for Apotheosis Sharp. Didn't happen. Use Spot Weakness, I guess. Let's use Warcry. Give me Apotheosis to Sharp. No. Okay. Using Flame. Maybe make Apotheosis Sharp now. Palm Strike will just give me the, the K card, right? Uh, so you should go like Perfect the Strike. You should go. Palm Strike. Should you go Feed? Should you go Normal Strike? You should go with the Erratic Entrance and end your turn. You just did 122 damage to the boss. You will add a perfect Strike to the deck to make perfect Strikes do more. So they changed the Chance here. He looks really different. Like really, like I was like... My heart stopped for a literal second. Like for one whole second of that game, I had no heart. My heart pulse, it disappeared. Bam. Bam. We could kill him. We are very strong. Uh, nah. We are very, very strong. With, with our deck. We could kill him. It's possible. Do, do, do. Oh, unless that happens. That very specific play happens. We are in trouble. And we suddenly are not in trouble anymore. Well, you obviously use double strike on headbutt. You put back the perfected strike, which is here. Put back the spot weakness. Oh, uh, no. Let's put back the... We should be putting back the clashes. Oh, I'll put a double normal strike back. Um, I will use speed, I guess, for like a lot of damage. Mm, yeah, it's fine. I don't want any of these. So we're not going to kill him, unfortunately. We're going to be shy of killing him. By like a 400 damage or so, I've had to guess. But, ooh, forgot about this. It's kind of what I was waiting for. So I'm going to start with Pommel Strike because it's too energy and I get a lot of card draw. Now we have a choice. Perfect strike for 81 or clash for 60 plus feet for 24, which is 84. Um, I think you go for the 84 damage here, right? Yeah, you go for the 84 damage. That's the right play. Bam. 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 I mean, I would love to eat the transient. It was actually 84 plus 3, so it was 87. It was actually more damage. Um, I would love to eat the transient, but let's be realistic. We should be realistic. We know it's not gonna happen. What we do need though, and it's very important, and I'm not gonna lie to you, it's very oh, this is a horrible hand. This was the absolute worst hand we could have got, probably. We're not taking any damage once again, so we're not dead. But that was the possibly the worst hand. We did 91 damage with the worst hand we could have had. That's impressive. I said it was gonna have about 400 HP before that, but it's fine. Do Infernal Break Plus, of course. Elite time, let's go. Oh, it's Mr. Intangible Boy. He's one of the hardest boys to fight. That is a horrible opening hand game. I just want to point this out to you right now in case you didn't know. I'm going to start off with just doing like 99 damage for fun, I guess. 13 damage. What do we got here? I'm going to use it. Offering. Oh my goodness. It's like they knew. They're like, what do you need to win? And I was like, oh, I kind of need Offering to show up. And they're like, okay, here you go. Here's Offering. Get a perfect baby. I was like, oh, I was like, oh, I mean, if you're going to be so generous. Ah, you just died to that. You do not die to that though. I was trying to figure out how to eat him. I was like, I need to eat him. But the game won't allow me to eat him, so. Twin strike, of course. Perfect strikes are becoming OPD strong. Please be a shop. Please. Please have mercy on my soul and be a shop. It's not a shop. Give him the card. Oh, baby. I'm going to give you a apotheosis and you're going to love me for it. There. Ah. You know, now that I think... Oh, give him Impervious. Oh, yeah. Gives me max HP. Gives me full heal. Before an elite fight. Mm-hmm. Exactly what I want. Oh, these elites are easy peasy. And we get the right opening hand, of course. Lots of our run depends on the right opening hand. You know what that makes me think about? That makes me think that if your entire strat revolves around getting the right hand, maybe you built a bad strat. I'm just saying. I don't want to be that guy. 
You know, you know that guy, the guy that's always like, I told you so. But I think this is one of those situations where I've got to be like, you know what, that guy, I'm going to give it to you. You told me so, and you were fucking right. Okay. We can't play Clash it, but we can play Searing Blow. Then we can play Headbutt. We can put back the Searing Blow. We can use Offering to get back that free Searing Blow. It's not free! I feel ripped off. Impervious for insane block. Clash. Clash. Uh... Use a energy potion. Gives me some heal. Perfect the strike. Get some more card draw and stuff. Use clash. Use perfect the strike. Oh my goodness. We just perfect that lead on the first turn like I meant nothing. <gasps> Bag of marbles is huge. I don't think we want anything here. Skip this. Chase. We're going to get another curse. Please don't be like a right. It's pain. Uh, pain is a problem, but not that bad. We're going to rest up even though we don't need to. We had no choice. Um, I would just say... Although, ha give me a Havoc. Give me a Havoc, baby. Bring it. Three Havocs. I like it. I like it a lot. Mr. Moore. Good good day, good sir. Um, I would prefer not to get uh, the KM opening hand ever, please. Is that is there an option for this? Is there someone I can speak to in the head department that I can say, Listen, I do not want the K in my opening hand ever. Just give me a blue motherfucking candle. If I just had blue candle, I could have done like an extra 45 damage to you, good sir. We can't get failed, doggy. And by doggy, I of course do not mean doggy because that would be rude. I mean little man. Wait, that's even worse, isn't it? Uh, having no energy miscalculation problems, but it's fine. I'm going to take five. Oh no. Five damage, guys. We are so wrecked. I don't give a fuck, dude. Pain, though. I kind of do give a fuck about. Like, a lot. There's too much damage. Oh wait, you know what pain is great with? Fucking uh What's gonna call it? It's great with uh soft forming clay. Yeah, I'm just saying. It's really good. Bum, bum. You know what I think our problem was here guys? I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna be straight to you because that's the type of guy I am. I think we uh we have too many cars in our deck is the problem. And like nine of them are curses. I can't add more clashes, right? I can't do it, right? I'm doing it, baby. Ooh, Intangible Bro. Intangible Bro is still scary. Intangible Bro. He's kind of like someone that's not your bro. Except he is an Intangible Bro. He's an Intangible Bro. Okay, we need a way to kill you. Pommel Strike Plus is probably the way to go here. Although Perfected Strike Plus is pretty good. Uh, how much HP do you have? You have 172. You are vulnerable already, so I don't need to vulnerable. So I think if you have any chance of killing us with the big ass attack. It's with the big ass attack. Okay. Um, this will do 100 something. This will do a lot. And then this will end it. Bam. Bam. Like, look, we lost both our potions. Oh my goodness. I've got a potheos for me. That's so nice. Uh, I don't want any of these. Skip. Please be a shop. I'll be so happy if it's a shop. Just be a shop. It wasn't a shop. I feel ripped off, guys. I feel like I have been cheated. Cheated, I tell you. Out of something that should have been, that now will never be. <laughs> I promised myself I wouldn't cry. What did I play? What did I play? Did I play Clash? I don't know what I played. I just don't know what I played, and they're not going to tell me, are they? These motherfuckers. I think you're just impervious, here, honestly. As much as I would have just preferred to just kill, 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 because it's my favorite thing to do, I think this is just an impervious situation. This is impervious, you know. Don't take the damage, move on. Look, I'm not convinced we're going to win this round, okay? Okay, well, I'm kind of sure we will win. Mm, I'm not even sure. See, the, you know what? That's the problem. The problem is I'm not even sure we're going to win the run. That's why it's scary, guys. It wasn't scary until I figured out that we might not win the run. And then suddenly, it became tremendously scary. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, game? It's horrible. It's horrible. Give me more feeds. I, mean, I need to eat something to feel better. So this one was a, this one was a joke. By me, I apologize. I'm very ashamed and embarrassed by my own lack of skill and own retardation of messing up that fucking play so traumatically bad. I would love to feed on it, so I'm gonna use the offering for the hope that we get feed. I'm not did not happen. I use Palm Strike, hope we get feed. It did not happen. Uh I can't kill you now though. LOL! 
I can't kill him now. That's hilarious. Oh, he's dead. Okay, cool. We did kill him, but we took some damage. Ancient potion. I don't think it's going to matter. Drop kick. Definitely not important because we have no vulnerable creation in this deck. Give me a relic. No, you should be in the relic one, man. I needed that, man. Man, this is horrible, man. Play Havoc for Pathosis. I was feet. I was not a Pathosis, by the way. I just want to point that out. Anyone watching this right now, that was not a Pathosis. I clearly stated I wanted a party fucking Osis. I don't know who I need to speak to about this. I just played a curse card. I didn't even know that was possible. Give me offering, baby. Offering me. Offer me up in here, baby. Look, we're gonna be on 134 HP when we fight the Time Lord. We have zero defensive cards in this deck. Zero. I don't know if you guys know what zero means, but I'll tell you in case you don't know. It means we have zero defensive cards in this deck. Get clashed. Get double strike. Get pommel strike. Get pommel struck. Get havoc. Get normal struck. And you are dead, good sir. And uh, I will not normal strike you because if I normal strike you, I'll take too much damage. I will take way too much damage. Wait, we don't care, but then we're gonna heal to full with the next bonfire. Uh, we should just kill them. Not kill them, but then more damage. Inferno, blame me, baby. Sword boomerang. Let's use the thing that does the most possible damage to me, guys. I think that's a great idea. If we're gonna do it, at least let's take the most possible damage. We wouldn't, we wouldn't want to take the least possible damage. We need to add the shockwaves. We need a way to make the um, time lord vulnerable slash weakened, or we will lose. Um, you know what? Give me three drop kicks now because now I have a way to make vulnerable. I guess I don't know. And the time lord was up. I'm very, and I'm a very upset boy right now. Why, you might be wondering? Well, let me tell you. A, I fucked up. Okay. B, I fucked up. C, you get the picture. Okay, so how many turns we give this guy? Six turns? Mm, I can do six turns. I can do six turns. Okay, so no perfect for us, obviously. But at this point, we kind of just want to win the run strategy now. Like, we just want to win the run and not lose the run. 99 card deck is kind of ironic if you think about it. Um, but yeah, so I'm a little bit, uh, a little bit dis disappointed in myself, let's say. Okay, so that's seven. That's eight. You got bash, which is great. That's nine. Ten. Yeah, eleven. Twelve. Bam. You get a turn up. I don't care. Let's move on. You're vulnerable three turns. I've got infinite energy, by the way. Infinite. I don't know how that's possible. We have fucking seven out of five energy. Look, all I know for sure is that takes super skills that I have. Drop kick. Flash him. Flash him. Oh, this is gonna be a bit awkward because it's gonna be five turns, but whatever. You know, give me blood for blood. It's free. I don't care. Let's go. Doo -doo -doo. No card. The less card draws a little bit of a problem. Oh my goodness gracious, sweet bowels of fire! That hand was horrible. Give me, give me, give me drop kick next turn. I will feed on you. Okay, we only get five cards next turn, right? Five cards next turn, and then he... Oh, he's gonna heal himself to half now. Fuck! Don't heal yourself! He healed himself. So he's not vulnerable anymore, and I think we lost our only bash in the day. <laughs> he's offering. We got four cards left. Um, using flame. We have five cards... Uh, three cards left. He's used palm strike, hoping for... Oh, man. We could use Offering to pray we get the card we need, or we can do some damage. I'm going to use Offering and pray we get the card we need. And we did. And it was meant to be. I know it. And I end my turn. It's fine. I knew it was meant to be. In my heart of hearts, I knew if we played Offering there, we would get the weakness and vulnerable. And I will get us more than enough to kill him. As soon as I perfect the strike, sharp one day. You just don't know when that's going to be. They haven't let us know yet. We're still waiting for the... Vector strikes to show up. Pummel, yeah, pummel's super good. Vector strike, hello. I've got like nine in the deck. <laughs> hello. I don't know if I, I don't know who I need to speak to about this, but one of you motherfuckers better give me a fucking vector strike very soon. Ah, so we're not dead yet. We're not dead yet. You go to infernal. You got to double. You got to have up. Oh, you fucked it. Get immolated to death! Okay, as I said, I knew it would win the, the run. Unfortunately, we 
but that didn't do well. We didn't beat it in under 45 minutes, so we lost points there. We didn't perfect any bosses, I think. I think we perfect the first boss, I don't know. The time to time, you ready your blade, you do 1,279 damage, that's not bad. No stuff I've ever been here before, we've done 58,000 damage in total. Victory, let's see what we got and what we didn't. I was very disappointed in that one. I feel like, I feel like I dropped the ball. I feel like I really dropped the ball and I really let you all down. Oh my god, raining money. Holy shit. We had 2,500 money. Speedster, boss is slain. Okay, that's on normal. Exorum elites killed. City elites beyond elites killed. We lost a lot of points in the elites. We, I think two we messed up, so it's 40 points there. Not actually that bad if you think about it. Overkill, perfect, curses, stuff, things like that. We, we did not too bad considering that the run was bad. I did bad. I made mistakes. I made misplays big time. I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit ashamed, but look at these scores. This is what we could have been. We could have been like... Yeah, 1,600 people. You know, we've we've beat an Osmus place before. View my score, top 1,000 at least, please. Oh, top 1,000. Lucky. I didn't expect top 1,000. I'm very happy about top 1,000. I really didn't expect it. I was like, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. I didn't play it the perfect run. I'm fine with not getting top 1,000. But that's, that's not bad. I'm 629. Top 1,000. Eight hours ago. That's really not bad. I'm really happy about that. Without further ado, that's going to be in this episode, though. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed it, please be sure to hit that like button. It really helps a lot. And of course, subscribe if you haven't already. So you guys be updated as soon as new episodes are released. New episodes released every single day on my channel. I hope you've all been enjoying them. I will see you next time with another episode of Slay the Spy Daily, June 14th. I cannot wait. I love these days and I love doing it every day. I think the problem was I played a little bit fast and loose today. Made a lot of misplays, made a lot of mistakes. Second floor, especially, I feel like we really messed up the second floor. And that put us behind the eight ball, which put us behind everything. Had we not made those one or two fatal misplays on the first section of the first floor, we might have been able to rank maybe three 300 ranks higher than what we currently are um, so need to keep your head about you need to stay focused need to play quick but precise to get good daily scores thanks for watching i'll see you all next time with another daily this is jrpg gaming and i hope you enjoyed it